Calvina itches 24 hours a day. She's afraid to go out in public. We sent her to Dr. Sonia Batra for some help, and Dr. Batra joins us now. And, and Calvina, we were talking about how hard this is for you. Yeah. Now, right now, you're showing some emotion. Is that because you're just hoping and praying? Yeah. And, um, and then, too, it's just really been really hard. You know, the first, like, year or two, you try to have hope. And then the third year, you know, you try to keep trying to do some things to help yourself. The fourth year, the fifth year, this has been over seven years, you know, so I've just, I'm nervous because I've always, I've been feeling hopeless for the longest. We tried everything and everybody. Do you have hope now after seeing Dr. Batra? Yes. Yes. So you suffered, you suffered for so long, Dr. Batra. I mean, we're all hoping, quite honestly, that, that you maybe have some answers. Well, so this is actually one of the most interesting cases I've ever seen. We actually found that there are two really rare and really unusual and interesting diagnoses that we can help you with. Two actually have hypothyroidism, which is very likely from a central cause, meaning that it's not just that you're not producing the hormones. The thyroid gland is actually sort of the regulator of your body, and it produces hormones that actually affect every single cell in your body. Oh and it affects your metabolism, it affects your mood. And the other thing we see in the skin is that it causes itchy, dry skin. Mm -hmm. But I think what was so astonishing about this case and so rare and actually treatable yes. is that that primary lesion I biopsied that you said, you know, oh, it's nothing, it's brand yeah. new. Yeah. That one actually showed a very rare inflammatory condition called urticarial vasculitis. And that's different than yeah. hives. So I know people have all said you have hives. Mm -hmm. This is actually more of an autoimmune condition where you have inflammation of the blood vessels. Mm. And because you've been using all of these medicines to treat hives and to treat itching, yes. you haven't actually been on the right medication to treat that underlying vasculitis. Yes. So the good news is both of those conditions are actually treatable. And when we can fix that, when we can go in and actually correct your thyroid, give you that hormone back, when we can go in and settle the inflammation that's causing this urticarial vasculitis, then you won't itch all the time. And then we can work on fixing the parigonodules, which are really all the secondary change because you've been so itchy and so uncomfortable.